Today, I am going to fill out an entire form and send a text message to my editor live without touching my phone's keyboard. How am I gonna do this? Through the magic of advanced voice typing on Pixels. This is one of the best features on Pixel phones and one of the biggest reasons I am a Pixel guy. By the end of this video, I'll hopefully have convinced you of that and turned you into a pro when it comes to using voice typing for yourself. But before we start, Let's run through Pixel Voice Typing 101. So why is Pixel Voice Typing different from voice typing on other phones? Most Android phones use Google's keyboard app, known as Gboard. If your keyboard looks like this, it's Gboard. Gboard is great and supports the use of your voice to create text, saving you from needing to type out messages manually. But Gboard on non-Pixel phones doesn't do much besides listen to your voice and then transfer that into text. This forces you to say things like, period or exclamation point when you want to add those as the software will not add them automatically. It also doesn't let you give commands with your voice because it can't tell the difference between you saying what you want typed and giving it a command of some kind. It can't understand the insertion of emojis. You can't type manually and use your voice at the same time. There are no AI tools. It's really just a way for you to say stuff and have what you say appear on the phone. But with Pixels, you get advanced voice typing. This brings in all those missing features, which turns your phone from a way to just regurgitate what you say in letters into a powerful voice-powered assistant. So let me stop explaining this and start showing you how it works. First, let's make sure advanced voice typing is active on your Pixel. Open up Google Keep, Google Messages, or any app that has a text input box. Bring up Gboard and hit the overflow icon here. Tap settings, then voice typing, and make sure all the toggles here are on. If you're ever curious if advanced voice typing is working, it's easy to spot. Just look for the Google colors surrounding the microphone. This is an example of advanced voice typing, and this is an example of regular voice typing. So one of the best things about this feature is that you don't need to format what you say. You can just say it, and Google does the rest. I'll show you what I mean by saying the same thing to these two phones. Hi everyone. I don't need to say anything about punctuation with advanced voice typing. Instead, I can just talk naturally, and Google takes care of everything else. Isn't this so much easier? Of course, if you want to fall back on saying comma and question mark as you go, you can do that. You can also get super in-depth with how to format what you say. For example, you can say new paragraph and it will happen, whereas typical voice typing will just write out new paragraph. You can also say emoji names and they'll turn into that emoji. I use smiley face emoji, hard eyes emoji, and laughing emoji quite a bit myself, but as long as you say the official name of that emoji, it should work. But let's say it doesn't. Let's say you try to say smiling face with tear emoji and it doesn't do it right. You can simply say delete last word or even clear all and try again. No need to touch your phone. Oh, and here's another trick that most people don't know about. When you start a dictation session by pressing the microphone button, it will listen for a bit and then turn off if it doesn't hear you after a while. You can easily stop this by double tapping the microphone button instead. See how the button has a different background now? That means it's locked. It will continue to listen to you until you tap it again or just say the word stop with nothing before or after it. This is another feature other phones don't have. All this is great for when you're just typing into a text box, but what if you're filling out a form? That's easy to do with your voice as well. Check this out. I'm gonna fill out this form live on camera without touching my keyboard at all. Advanced voice typing. Next. No, I didn't know CSB had a Discord. Next. Wow, that's very helpful information. Next. Let's get back to the video now. So there are two things you need to know about everything I've talked about so far. First, every single thing is available on any Pixel with a Tensor chip. So that's the Pixel 6 forward and even includes the Pixel tablet. Second, and this is crazy, it all works without an internet connection. 
That's because Tensor Chips can do this all on device, which makes it not only useful even when you're away from the internet, but also completely private. With that in mind though, there are voice typing features that don't fit that mold. I'm gonna tell you about a few of them, but note that they only currently work on Pixel 8 and later phones, they need an internet connection, and they only work in English. The first one is called Fix It. Although advanced voice typing does a great job on its own with making things grammatically correct as you talk, sometimes the software misses things. For those situations, just say fix it at the end and Gemini will go through and make sure it looks good. If you've made a lot of mistakes though, you might need to be more specific. In those cases, you can say things like insert amazing before museum or change Saturday to Sunday. You can also spell out words that trick it up, like my partner's name, which is spelled with one L. So I can say spell Allison as A-L-I-S-O-N. So all those tools work on the Pixel 8 and up, but there are even more tools that only work on the Pixel 9 and Pixel 10 series. These tools take what you've dictated and fundamentally change it in some way using the on-device power of Gemini Nano. In other words, if you have a newer Pixel, you have a super powered version of advanced voice typing that works even in airplane mode. One of the best tools in this category is the shorten command. Let's say you rambled on for a minute about things and what you said was only moderately coherent. You can just say, shorten it, and Gemini will read it and then rewrite it in a more condensed format. You can also do the opposite and ask Gemini to elaborate by saying, lengthen it. There's also wacky commands here like Emojify it, which I would never use personally in real life, but hey, it's there if you need it. So now you know all the cool things you can do with this feature. But now it's time to put it to a real world test. I'm gonna send a text message to Lon, the magician who edits all my videos, live right now using only my voice. Hey man, I just wanna let you know that you're the best editor on YouTube. I know this video is going to be fire emoji for real. Anyway, I need to go meet up with Allison soon. Spell Allison, A-L-I-S-O-N. We are going to the movies at 7 p.m. Change 7 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make it friendly. Use this. Send it. So there you have it. A text message written and sent without needing to touch my keyboard at all. And if you're curious, the send it command at the end there works in Google Messages and a few other apps. I wish it worked in email apps like Gmail and Outlook, but maybe Google's working on that. Who knows? You might be wondering if Pixels are the only phones that can do this. The answer is yes and no. Yes, Pixels are the only phones that can do everything I've just talked about. However, there are certain things that other phones can do. iPhones, for example, also support things like changing text into emojis or replacing words with other words. Galaxy phones using the Samsung keyboard can do punctuation automatically as you talk now, although it's not as good as on Pixels. The bottom line here is that some phones out there can do some of the stuff Pixels can, but no phone can do everything a Pixel can. Anyway. Was there anything I told you about today that you didn't know before watching this video? Jump down in the comments and let me know. Before you head off, why not check out this video here, which goes over four other things that only Pixels can do that I could never live without. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed, it would make my day if you did. I'll see you all down in the comments.